Hi, today we will discuss analysis of frames by stiffness matrix method in sway condition. Okay, in sway condition, here we had a three members. Okay, here we had three members due to the 50 kN means lateral loads say occurring at A B A to B and C to D only these two members are these two members are displacing okay these two members are, are displacing okay first of all we need to know when the sway causes occurs okay sway occurs unsymmetry due to the geometry of a structures okay due to the geometry of a structures and unsymmetry due to the loading condition okay unsymmetry due to the loading so next so shall we start the question step one we need to find the degree of rem because stiffness matrix method is a displacement method so we need to find the unknown displacements we have 3j minus and minus m so here we had four giants 1 2 3 4 and the reaction 6 6 10 fix in 3 into 3 6 sorry, 3 plus 3 sorry 3 plus 3 and members 3 members okay next we need to check the boundary condition theta a here the unknown displacements so we need to check the boundary condition displacement theta a equal 0 we got fixed support theta b equal theta b and theta c equal theta c and theta d equal to 0 okay sway so here we got a to b is delta a to b is equal delta that is downward is uh, our end is left side fixed end and our displacement is right side downward so you take it as a positive delta no problem okay when a to b is 0 and c to d is delta okay then next step 3 coordinate selection we need to select the unknown coordinate displacement so here i selected delta due to the sway load and rotation at b and rotation at c okay we got three unknowns next we need to start the fixed end moment condition this is a displacement method so i measure as a fixed end moment a b had no loading condition so fixed end moments are zero and b to c as for uniform distributed load the intensity of 30 kilo newton meter okay w l square by 2 n that gives the 40 and 40 so our assumption is clockwise rotation is positive from the right okay so right is positive and left is it will change the its own sign convention so left it will change the sign convention right is also the positive and c to d has a no fixed in moment condition because there is no loading condition next uh, our equation is p minus p l so we need to find the first p the p indicate the nodal forces or nodal moments okay here so let's check here so here at a okay at a displacement one we had a one nodal force means unknown position we had a one nodal force so we need to write here so 50 and the theta in place of rotation there is no nodal moment or nodal forces so zero and at c also there is no nodal forces or nodal moment okay here we got uh, due to the nodal and next we need to find the real forces due to the external loading condition so real forces due to the external loading condition okay so there is no real force in the sway sway position means one position and next we need to find the next to theta 2 means theta b at position of theta b we had a fixed moment of b okay here we need to check here fixed moments of theta uh, here 0 and theta b a plus theta b c and theta uh, c to b plus theta c to d here we got uh, here. This, two. this two this two so we need to place here fixed moments of fixed moments of b to a is 0 b to a 
here fixed moment of bt is 0 and fixed moment of bt is minus 40 so minus 40 and here also fixed moment of hmm, c to b 40 and c to d is 0 so we got here okay that is 0 and 0 okay minus 40 is 0 so we got finally then we need to draw the redraw p minus pl so the p minus pl is gives the 50 minus 0 50, 0 minus of minus 40 0 minus 40 so we will get the final equation uh, this is very important step here so to form the flexible to form stiffness matrix sorry so apply the unit displacement in one okay you apply the unit displacement in one position so and displacement in one we need to check itself there itself so k11 k11 gives 12 ei by l cube okay 12 ei by l cube this is due to the sway current sway force due to sway force we will get sway force we got the deflection here over here and here next for due to sway force at second position so, sorry uh, before then here due to sway here also will pass so here delta equal to 1 the rest of uh, theta are 0 ok and next condition theta which is k11 due to sway only due to sway force only we can see displacement so p directly proportional delta and next uh, at position uh, uh, loading condition 1 but position it 2 ok here due to sway the rotation will occur so it will 6 ei by so due to uh, due to second place due to second place we got minus 6 e i by l square delta due to we are going at a theta 2 position that means a theta b so theta b classes movement ok rotation classes movement rotation classes that is rotation causes movement ok we got 6 ci by l square delta then we need to go uh, at uh, loading 1 we are going at 3 ok at 3 c minus 6 ci by l square delta here check here at 2 position we need to check this length this is 4 meters and at 1 to 3 and 3 position we need to check this length this is 2 ok so no confusion the next we are going to check uh, lo uh, rotation 2 we know the as it is b equal to 1 the rest of uh, rest of uh, elements are 0 so at b position we had uh, b to a and b to c so b to a b to c as it is we will get and third position we know that here c to b and c to d so this is also we know so, so two loading condition two is finished i already finished uh, which one two one or one two condition so no need of bothering about it okay two one and one two condition okay next you know displacement due to three so three three you know that theta c only one rest of zero so c only one theta c one out of one here only on so c c to b plus c to d okay we got this also so finally we need to form the stiffness matrix we know the k delta and p delta we know the values and 3 by 3 matrix so delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 equal to inverse of this matrix into this so delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 we got uh, this r one is uh, deflection and the one data and also data okay so finally to get the final moment we need to substitute these movements in fixed fixed moment that's the slope deflection equation so we got m a b equal to 0 m b a equal to 13.33 
um, mb to c is equal to minus 13.33 and uh, c to b equal to 53.33 c to d equal to minus 53.33 so d to c equal to minus 53.33 okay so finally we need to draw the bending moment diagram okay here here ma b equal to 0 so here itself then uh, m b to a equal to plus 13.33 plus 13 point plus means uh, we need to go clockwise rotation okay so we need to go clockwise rotation okay so there is no loading condition we need to make a straight line okay uh, next uh, we got next we got b to c equal to minus 13 point three. minus means indicating anti-clockwise rotation so towards the upward the here c to b equal to clockwise rotation towards the upward so we had a loading condition here which one uniformly distributed loss so we need to draw the linear uh, non-linear curve okay and next uh, c to d equal to minus 53.33 okay we are also got and uh, next uh, it is also minus 53 minus means indicates anti clockwise rotation okay like this so join because there is no loading condition sorry because no loading condition okay here to here yeah, because we got a positive so we, we will come here and uh, again he called the negative but loading condition is loading can uniformly distributed load so we need to uh, to take towards upward and we need this clockwise towards upward and it is anti-clockwise towards upward and it is clockwise that's the answer okay this is uh, our condition here zero we got here we got a uh, mb to c 13.33 13.33 and I got 53.33 53.33 53.33 okay thank you